Ladies and gentlemen, Page Meet Stage is proud to welcome to the Bowery Poetry Club, Jeffrey McDaniel. <laughs> Reminiscing in the drizzle of Portland, yes. I noticed the ring that has landed on your finger. A massive insect of glitter. A chandelier shining at the end of a long tunnel. Thirteen years ago, you hid the hurt under the blanket of your voice and said, I guess there are two kinds of women those you write poems about and those you don't. It's true. I never slid sonnets under the door or served you haiku in bed. My, my idea of courtship was tapping Jane's addiction lyric and Morse code on your window at 300 a.m. Whiskey doing push-ups on my breath. I worked within the confines of my character, cast as the bad boy in your life, the Magellan of your dark side. We don't have a past so much as, as a bunch of electricity, power never put to good use. The phrase, what we had together, makes it sound like a virus, as if we caught one another like a flu, and desire was merely a symptom that could be treated with soup and lots of sex. But gliding beside you now, I, I feel like the Ben Franklin of monogamy, <laughs> as, as if I invented it. But I'm still not immune to your waterfall scent, have not developed antibodies for your smile. I don't know how long regret existed before humans hammered a word on it, or how many paper towels it would take to wipe up the Pacific Ocean, or, or why the light of a candle being blown out travels faster than the luminescence of one that's freshly lit. But I do know all our huffing and puffing into each other's throat as if the heart was a birthday cake covered with trick candles, didn't make the silence any easier to navigate. I'm sorry all the kisses I scribbled on your neck were written in disappearing ink. I'm sorry this poem took 13 years to reach you. Sometimes I thought of you so hard, one of your legs would pop out of my ear and when I slept, you'd press your face against the porthole of my submarine. I wish that just once, instead of joyriding over flesh, we'd put our hands away like chocolate to be saved for later and deciphered the calligraphy of each other's eyelashes, translated a paragraph from the volumes of what couldn't be said. <laughs> 